Well, hello there, everybody. I'm TJ Holmes. And I'm Rena Nine. And with the top stories on this Thursday, December 18th, a dramatic prisoner exchange has paved the way for the U.S. and Cuba to revive diplomatic ties for the first time since JFK was in office. The agreement that brought Alan Gross back home to the U.S. was brokered with the help of the Pope. Now, Sony has decided not to release its movie, The Interview, after threats from hackers. The company depicts, or the comedy, I should say, depicts the assassination of North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. And now the U.S. has linked that cyber attack to the North Koreans. Police in Waco, Texas, are looking for the man they say shot a TV meteorologist yesterday in the parking lot of the station. The two men apparently exchanged words, and the gunfire erupted. The weatherman is expected to survive. And surveillance cameras caught a guy having... A heart attack. Oh, poor guy. Can somebody help him? Oh, actually, it's a fake heart attack. This is at a Central Florida Walmart. At the same time, you see that guy in the red vest? That's his accomplice. He's pulling a shopping cart loaded with toys out of the store. Didn't pay for those toys. They're both in custody charged with grand theft. Or you can get more news and interesting video anytime at abcnews.com. I'm TJ Holmes. And I'm Rena Ninen. Thanks for watching.